How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. And it is um, Imperial Double IPA time in the form of Carton Brewing's SS Yurgachev. Uh, I'm saying that right. If not, who gives a fuck, actually? Uh, yeah, uh, SS Yurgachev um, Imperial Pale Ale by Carton Brewing. Um, this is uh, probably, our, I don't even know, maybe about like our seventh. Uh, carton review so far, um, semi-local to me, I live in Pennsylvania, but I'm not too far away from, um, them, so I procure their cans every now and then, this one comes courtesy of my, uh, beer dealer, George, thank you very much, George, uh, dropped this on me tonight, and I said, hey, I'm in the mood, let's do a review, uh, as far as what it says on the can, it says, drink off the beaten craft, um, and this is Yurkachev, Imperial Pale Ale, need a bigger boat series, um, 9 SRM, 8.2% alcohol by volume, 60 IBUs. On the side here, we have while playing uh, coffee games with our partners at Fair Mountain Coffee Roasters, we found ourselves attracted to the bitter lemony notes of cold-brewed e Ethiopian Yurgachev. While playing hobby games with our friends at Hopsteiner, we were similarly inspired by the lemony, lemony bitterness of the new Lemon Drop Hop. With SS Yurgachev, we transport our Need a Bigger Boats recipe to these flavors with the helping hand of the lemon notes of Sriracha Ace Hops. Drink SS Yurgachev, Need a Bigger Boat um, because boats carry coffee, distances, bridges can't. And that's pretty much it. Uh, need a Bigger Boat series. I don't know if that's, uh, again, zero research beforehand. Assume that's maybe just a bumped up version of their boat beer. And then here they're kind of tweaking it with a bit of lemon hop, uh, Sriracha Ace. And um, and uh, that um, coffee. So there you go. You got it basically in a coffee um, imperial pale ale. So yeah. Super excited to give this a whirl. It's a fun looking beer. So yeah. Label wise, it's cool. I mean, it's carton. It's what they do. Pretty much all the labels are the same. This one has a nice kind of like a. Indian trading kind of map here, except it's going from, you know, India to the Yurgachev Peninsula, what it looks like, no, or just Ethiopia, sorry, um, Yurgachev Peninsula, it's Yurgachev, the name of the coffee, around the Cape of, uh, Africa, to Atlantic City, to Atlantic Highlands of, uh, New Jersey, so, yeah, I dig it, let's give it a whirl, yeah. There we go. Nice color to it. A finger, pinky finger, infinitely compact head, nice creaminess to it. It's got a nice subtle haziness to it. Not super hazy, bit clear, gentle carbonation going on. Nice orange tint of honey kind of vibe going on there. So, yeah. it looks like an IPA or a double IPA. Let's see what she smells like. You're definitely getting like subtle, super, super subtle cold brew coffee notes off of it. You're getting that lemon, and that lemon is like, um, the lemon is more vibrant. It's, um, I don't want to see Luden's. That's kind of what I'm getting off of, like a Luden's vibe, but it's more fresh than that. It's more organic. It's not as uh, synthetic. You know, you don't, I don't think of lemon and coffee. They don't really go together for me. Lemon and tea, sure. Lemon and coffee, not so much, but it seems to be working here. Yeah, the coffee is nice, rich. It's almost like a coffee kind of. Like a like a, a, a mixed espresso kind of coffee. It's not so much that it's a, like a beanie kind of coffee. It's that it is like a um, like a already mixed and made kind of coffee to where you have a bit of creamer, a bit of more richness to it instead of that straight up coffee. And like I said, that lemon's in there. It's nice sweetness. Doesn't smell overly acidic though. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not. Really getting much of a malt base. Every whiff I take, actually, I get more and more coffee. So it's pretty fucking cool. So yeah, I mean, she looks cool. She smells uber interesting. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Way more bittering with that kind of lemon hop. In the mouth than it is in the nose, getting that bright kind of like I said, like almost sweeter kind of lemon. When you're getting that kind of sweet coffee based milk, milk in the coffee kind of nose, 
This, definitely bittering. Not over the top, though. Up front. And you start to get a little bit more of that lemon along with the coffee. And then it's just kind of like if you had like a... If you ever let like a, a Werther's Original kind of just melt in your mouth rather than suck on it, just let it kind of slowly melt away. That's kind of how the coffee comes on in this. You get that creamy, milk-based kind of espresso coffee going on that they're kind of known for for a lot of their beers. Kind of just like oozing and just kind of coming forward in that in a very slow, like it's coming more even now. And that top and roof of my mouth is still like bitter. You know, it's still like like drying bitterness on the roof of my mouth. But then you have that kind of creamy kind of coffee-ness on the tongue. It's actually pretty fucking cool. The tastes are so... I don't want to say foreign. The combination is not something you usually go for right off the bat. Um, and a lot of times you're like, well, that's not a good thing. Um, but it just in a beer form, how it's being presented... You're not, you're getting, get, you know you're getting that bitteringness right, off of the hop and you're not getting it from the coffee whatsoever. And you have that kind of milky, kind of creamy kind of coffeeness combined with that kind of sweeter lemoniness, it works. The acidity isn't there with the lemon. The kind of bittering isn't there for the coffee, so it works in that form of fashion. If you were to take actual lemon juice and mix it with actual coffee, it's not really going to work all that well, but this actually does work. And it works pretty damn well. Yeah. This is what I like to take my time with. Even though it's not, it doesn't drink big at all. 8.2%. It doesn't drink that big at all in any form or fashion. I'm trying to see if I can yank anything else out of this thing. Nice body to it, too. It's not thin. Man, that's it. You get that wave of bitterness kind of up front. It's not super huge, but it's there. Like I said, that lemon kicks in, and you start to slowly develop the kind of creamy coffeeness, and it just kind of separates. Like I said, like it's like coffee down here. Creamy, milky coffee down here. And like the roof of my mouth is still kind of like drying. It's almost like it's overly dried bitterness. And I dig it. Um, so there you go. Uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better double IPs I've had as of late? <sighs> I'm going to have to say I don't know. Um, only because it's so outside the norm of what I typically call double IPA that it's kind of in its own realm. Is it one of the more... Is it one of the better experimental, just to use that fucking word, even though it probably doesn't even fucking fit, whatever, that's what I'm going to call it, experimental style double IPAs I've had as of late, yeah, actually, it's pretty fun and cool, um, uh, would I buy it again, yeah, I'd buy it again, um, I'm not, wouldn't go eat shit on this one, by case of it, personal preference, but, um, it's something I'd like to share with people, let's put it that way, it's not something I'd sit here and chug by myself, but I'd love to have a four pack or so of this to kind of bring place and be like, try this beer, let me know what you think to kind of see what other people think about it. And that is a cool way to kind of present a beer just not for yourself but for other people. It's just like, hey, I'm really interested in what you have to say about this beer and see if they're picking up the same things you are. Um, value and availability, I don't know. It was given to me. Availability, you're going to have to be in fucking Jersey. You almost likely have to go to the brewery to pick it up. Uh, based off of their track record, it's anywhere between $12 to $16 a four-pack. So that's not too shabby. And to say, if you like what we like this. Like he said, if you like those those hops they used, if you like your Sriracha Ace that already had your lemon notes going on, or you like Lemon Drop, but you want something that's a bit more of a twist on it as opposed to just a straight hopped version of those, if you like Carton's mil uh, Coffee Beers, where it's you know your uh, coffee, their regular coffee, to their uh, cup of coffee, I think I based on the name right, any of their coffee beers, you like that profile, or a lot of them have that kind of creamy, milked coffee vibe to them, and you want something that leans IPA on that, even though that sounds kind of weird, you'd definitely be into it because it's just a fun fucking beer is what it is. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. 
like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, and all four of those places. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a fun fucking beer right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>